Welcome everybody, welcome to this yoga class. Today this class is, is being created for those who are working on a laptop or uh, working daily on a chair, seated in front of a desk. So for teachers, for computers, worker, or if you are working as an engineer, or if you are working in an office, so this practice is for you. This practice is also for those who are really stiff and needs to improve their flexibility and needs to improve their posture. This practice is a short practice uh, which can be practiced also at work. If not, you can practice this class at home so you can use your sp space, you can use your home space where you feel comfortable. Today we are gonna use a chair. It's a short practice where we use only a chair for, for the entire practice and we use a couple of blocks which can help us to, to work on few asanas. At the same time you can have with you a pillow or a blanket where you can place on your chair or you can place under your glutes if we when we sit at, on the ground or when we sit on the chair and hopefully this class is helping you to feel better at the end of the day so you are gonna work for the entire practice with the chair as I mentioned and we work in the asanas for almost one two minutes each each one so we are gonna start sitting with different asanas then we have move on the ground working on back bending for one asana and then we move again with the chair so please prepare yourself keep with you a chair and place the chair against the wall so you can be sure that it's not moving and it's not disturbing you while you are practicing and keep with you a couple of blocks and a pillow or bed or blanket where you can sit and you can feel comfortable when you are ready we can start So we are ready to start and the first asana that we are going to work on is the seated position. The seated position is helpful for increase the awareness of your spine and improve your posture so you can improve your spine line and all the curves of your spine so you are not feeling all the time collapsing on your laptop collapsing on your books, collapsing in front of the desk, in, at the office or even at home when you are doing something or just studying. So first of all we stand up and we place our blanket or our pillow on the chair. We move our pelvis in neutral position so we are not gonna go in anterior tilt or too much in posterior tilt we need to fix our pelvis in line with our femur bone and we squeeze our glutes so we can sit correctly on our chair our legs are almost 90 degrees and if they are slightly down then your pelvis is fine and it's helping you to relax even your abdomen and breath much better. We just stay here for a couple of minutes we, with the hands on our knees with spine straight, chin tucked to the chest chest open, 
shoulder relaxed, shoulder blades relaxed and we hold this position and we breathe with our abdomen using the Ujjayi breath. If you, if you know how to use it, use the Ujjayi breath. If not, just breathe normally using your abdomen. So when you inhale, your belly goes out. When you exhale, your belly goes in. Instead, if you know how to use the Ujjayi breath, breath deeply, slowly when you inhale and slowly when you exhale. Be sure that you are sitting in front of your chair and not back because if not your spine is gonna collapse. So be sure to stay in front of your chair so your spine is gonna be straight and you're gonna focus on your posture. Your feet are width apart, so it's like your pelvic distance. Stay here for a couple of minutes and breathe. If you want, you can close your eyes. Observe your heartbeat. And slow it down. Let your heart rate be lower. Keep your spine straight. If you want, you can work longer on this asana. You can increase the timing that you can hold this and you can practice this asana even 5, 10, 30 minutes, depends on your level. This is a short practice that I've been creating for, for you, that you can practice at home or even at work in a break when you have 15 minutes of breath, 10 minutes, and you can work on these asanas. Now after this, we move on a variation of prayer pose or reverse prayer pose. So instead of placing our palms together in front of our chest or instead placing our palms behind our back, that's gonna be hard for many of us. We are gonna hug our elbows behind our back. So we don't move from this position and we just move our left arm back and we move our right arm back and we grab our left elbow with the right hand and we grab our right elbow with the left one. We keep and we hold this asana again for a couple of minutes. As you can see, I'm holding my elbows with the opposite arm, with the opposite end exactly. And I leave my spine straight 
opening my chest, relaxing my neck. Even this asana you can hold for longer time. Instead of a couple of meals, you can work on this for 10, 15 minutes, even more. Depends on how you feel. Breathe deeply, slowly, and now slowly exhale, release your arms, relax your shoulders, and now from here we move on our back bending time. So First of all, we are gonna place a couple of blocks on the ground. If, you, if your chair is too high, use a couple of blocks. If, if your chair is lower, you can use a block. If you can do without, you can do without. The important thing is that your shoulders, that your shoulder blades are pushing against the front of the, the chair. So the base of your shoulder blades is against the chair and your upper back can move backward. So now we go down slowly. We place our blocks close to the chair and we sit. As you can see, I still have my pillow com with me, so you can place your pillow against the chair because it's helping us to don't feel too much the chair against the, the upper back. You can place your feet together in a bound angle pose or butterfly as you prefer as you as you call it or you can leave them straight in front of you i prefer to place my legs and my feet together in this way so i can move much in a better way backward so from here we inhale we open and we grab our head with our hands. We cross our fingers on our back of the head and we open our chest. We just stay here for one, two minutes. We, we relax our spine. And imagine that you are relaxing your spine and if you feel that you feel discomfort or something feel free to skip this this asana and move forward with the next one remember that your elbows are looking toward the ceiling so you, you don't need to open them you just close them close to you, supporting your head, so your neck is fully relaxed and your spine is opening. If you want, you can 
grab the chair and walk with your hands so you can open your chest and bending much more. Obviously do this only if you feel comfortable with this position. If not, keep moving with the other one. Don't forget to breath. When you inhale, feel your breath, feel your chest expanding, your ribcage expanding, and leave your shoulders relaxed, your shoulder blades relaxed, your collarbones relaxed. And now slowly, if you want to stay, you can stay longer, if not, come with me and slowly inhale and come back. From here, we are going to sit again on the chair, so you can stand up. Place your blocks close to you and we are gonna sit as we have done before so you can keep your spine straight. Now the next position is gonna be a crossed leg forward bending. So we are gonna place our right ankle on our left knee, over the left knee. We use the blocks to place our hands if we need. If not, you can bend forward and relax your hands in front of you. If you need to adjust yourself, do that. Keep your spine straight as you have been crossing your leg. You can inhale. Lifting your hands up and exhale, moving forward and place your hands on your blocks that can be in the upper, in the upper way, middle way, or you can even place your fingers and hands in the lower way. Tuck your chin to the chest and hold. You will feel your glutes stretching. You will feel your spine lengthening. This is a really great exercise to work on your hip flexibility to stretch your glute and to lengthen your spine. Remember that your ankle is always 90 degree so don't place too much forward your left foot keep it closer to you
and now we stay here other five breaths And slowly, we help us with the blocks we nail. And we sit again. We can relax our right leg and we move to the other side. So we are gonna cross the left one. And, and again, we inhale. Hands up, exhale, move forward. And as you can see, each side is different. In this side, I need to place blocks in a vertical position. And slowly, we will increase the flexibility and we will move to the middle side so we can support each yourself with the blocks in the middle side and then when you feel comfortable in this you can move on the lower side Keep breathing. Five more breaths. And slowly inhale. And again, sit. If you want, you can shake your legs. You can extend your legs and shake them. Now, we stand up. And we move to the downward facing dog variation. We are gonna use the chair but if you want to practice downward facing dog without chair, you can do that easily. Remember that you can use the chair as a proper tool to reach the final position. So we are gonna place our hands on our chair and we are gonna hold ourselves in plank and slowly we move backward.
and we relax our spine, lengthening our arms as much as we can. And if you want, you can walk down and slowly reach the final position, placing your hands on the ground. But if it's too hard, you can bend your legs, keep your heels lifted from the ground. By the way, this is just to show you how to move in a progression. We keep doing this with the chair and we hold Keep your legs straight, your feet fully on the ground, your palms touching the chair. Your shoulder blades are hugging your rib cage. Your chest is pushing toward the ground. This position is helpful for those who suffer of compression on lower back, compression on the upper back. This is stretching fully your spine, is opening your chest, is opening your shoulders and stretching your armstrings and your muscles, best back muscles. It's also strengthening your legs and strengthening your body. If you feel tingling, if you feel something that is happening to your hands, that's normal. We are working on our fascia. We are working on our deep tissues. And now slowly walk toward your chair and slowly stand up. We move to the last one. We sit again and we relax for a couple of meals in seated forward bend. So we just Relax our body forward and we keep breathing, observing our heart rate, our spine, our body, our mind and obviously we use our breath awareness to completely relax. Now as we have done before, we inhale, we lift our hands up, we exhale. And we relax forward. We place our palms on the ground, but if we cannot reach the ground, we can place our blocks. And we can place the palms on our blocks. If you want in this way, you can even lent, lengthen your legs a bit forward and you can go deeper in this asana. In this asana you don't need 
your ankles 90 degree you can lengthen your legs you can even keep them straight and relax my advice is always bending a bit so you can relax properly in front of you you can place them closer to each other and you can place your hands outside remember that your chest is always on your knees And now slowly we inhale, we sit again and for today we have finished. So for today we have finished, I thank you all, thank you everybody for being here and to practice with me. Now we are gonna chant Triom Trishanti before we say goodbye to the next class so place your palms in Mascal Mudra if you are still sitting on the chair please still there stay there and place your palms together close your eyes inhale deeply Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Now slowly open your eyes, look at your palms. Om, Ariyom, Namaste. Thank you again for being here to be part of this class. I wish you all to have a wonderful day, a wonderful night. Depends. When are you? Whenever you are practicing this this class, I wish you all the best. I wish you a happy life, a happy day, and see you in the next one. Send you light and love. Namaste.